hello coordinate geometry and lines all right this is an x y plane or cartesian coordinate system these are x coordinates and these are y coordinates these are negative x coordinates and these are negative y so if i draw a line having two points like 4 3 and minus 3 2 this is a line line segment i join it now i need to find out several things first of all i need to find out the distance of this line how can i do that so we have distance formula for that okay distance formula is this d is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square you want to take this x1 y1 or this x1 y1 it's fine it doesn't matter you subtract them and take square so taking the square nullifies that minus sign so it doesn't matter okay if this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 then the distance will be x2 minus x1 minus 3 minus 4 whole square y2 minus y1 2 minus 3 whole square so minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 minus 7 squared is 49 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1 square is 1 so it's under root 50 sometimes you need to find out the gradient or slope of this line slope or gradient is rise upon run rise sorry rise upon run this is rise this is run like starting from here how far you have gone and how high you have gone this ratio is called slope or gradient okay gradient so to find out the rise we'll take y2 minus y1 and to get run we'll get x2 minus x1 so the slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 okay let's find out the slope 2 minus 3 divided by minus 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 over minus 7 or 1 over 7 the gradient is positive what does it mean if from left to right the line is going upward the slope is positive and if from left to right the line is going downward like this then the slope is negative okay so the slope of this will be negative and slope of this will be positive if a line is at 45 degree half on this side and half on this side then the slope of that line is 1 above that the slope is more than 1 below that the slope will be less than 1 so this is not 45 degrees this is so less than that okay the gradient is so less than a 45 degree line so the slope is less than 1 but it's positive because it's going upward okay the slope of two lines is equal if they are parallel like these two lines 
The slope is usually denoted by a small m. m1, m2 will be equal if both lines are parallel. m1 is equal to m2 for parallel lines. And if two lines are perpendicular to each other, like making 90 degree angle, then M1 and M2 they have a relationship. The relationship is this M2 is equal to minus 1 over M1. Like you have to take the reciprocal of M1 and multiply it by negative sign. If the slope of this M1 is 2, then the slope of M2, L2, is minus 1 over 2 2 minus 1 over 2 you take the reciprocal and you multiply it by a negative number negative sign if the slope of m1 is 2 over 3 the slope of m2 is minus 1 minus 3 over 2 and if the slope is minus 5 m1 then m2 will be plus 1 over 5 this is how you can find out the slope of a perpendicular line. Simple, negative reciprocal. Multiple, change the sign and revert it. Let it take the reciprocal. Okay. So these are some uh, properties of slope. Okay. Sometimes you need to find out the equation of this line. There are multiple ways, but two most prevalent ways are these. One, you do this, y is equal to mx plus c, and the other, y2 minus y1 is equal to m, sorry, y minus y1 is equal to x minus m times x minus x1. So you use one of these points and the gradient, the slope. Let's find out the equation of this line. As we already know, the slope of this line is 1 over 7. So this is what we know. And x1, y1 can be any of these points. So let's take it 4, over, 4 3. So y minus y1 is 3. M x minus x1 is 4 that's it this is your equation yeah you can convert it into any form y is equal to something or x plus y is equal to something that's another thing but this is your equation in an equation x y are a must okay so 7 times y minus 7 times 3 is 21 x minus 4 so x minus 7y is equal to 4 minus 21 or bring that 21 there 21 minus 4 will be plus 17 is equal to 0 so you can write the equation in any form okay the main thing is how to find it out okay the expression the form of expression is secondary thing okay so this is one way of finding out the equation the other way is this y is equal to m x plus c so x y put it here and m here so y is 3 m is 1 over 7 and x is 4 so 3 is equal to 4 over 7 plus c you got the value of C3 minus 4 over 7. 7 is are 21 minus 4. 17 over 7. So that's C. So now we have M and C both available. So you, you can put the values of Y, M and C. Y is equal to M plus C is 17 over 7. So this is you can convert take the 7 there and convert it into this form again or just keep it like this okay 
so these are two ways of finding out the equation this is more comfortable than this okay so you you just get the answer in one go and for this you have to like do it twice first find c and then find the equation okay either way it's fine so the value here with x is always slow if it's any equation is written in this form sometimes what he says he gives you this equation and asks you to find the slope from this line so what you need to do you need to convert this into this form so isolate the y and whatever this along with x that is your slope okay so these are some things we use in coordinate geometry or lines questions okay so let's see a question or two regarding this topic okay then we'll see what how to solve the questions okay